Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of these future updates. Today I'm currently 23 weeks pregnant and I'm gonna be going over weeks 21 and 22. I am currently pregnant with identical twin boys and I'm just gonna hop right on into the update. So I went to the doctors about a week ago and she checked up on the babies on the ultrasound in the room and everything was good with them. Um, I've grown um, some more and I've uh, gained some more weight, which is really good. And I'll, the next step is my um, next growth ultrasound for the babies. So they have to be checked up on every two weeks. So I'm going to have a growth ultrasound for them, uh, I think next week. And then after that, I'm going to be having a echocardiography on the babies, which will be um, in March, I think March 12th or March 11th or something. And I'm going to be going to see my doctor again right around then too. So basically they want to um, check up on them every two weeks and just make sure that they're both growing properly, which is good. Um, thankfully so far they've been um, re really close in size and they've been um, not underweight or anything. So that's good. So the next step after that is just the glucose test. I don't think there's anything else really after that except for these um, every two week growth checks on the babies. I've been feeling them moving a ton now lately, which is exciting. It's mainly like when I'm sitting still for a while, I'll notice them moving. But it's been more and more recently, which is really exciting. I um, told you guys last time that I started feeling them moving too, but it's um, gotten even more frequent now. And um, I've just been loving trying to um, feel them and figure out what they're doing and everything. I've gotten that pressure again down below. Um, it went away for a little while, which I told you guys in my last update. But it came back again where I've been feeling that pressure down below and I've also been feeling some like shooting pains where it almost feels like a stabbing or like a lightning strike kind of feeling. It's hard to describe but it's kind of like a just a shooting pain down below and I've been getting that more recently and I remember having that in my previous pregnancies but it was never really until toward the end. But yeah, I've been feeling that recently. I've been feeling a lot of bloating and air in my stomach and some pains because of that. And just feeling like I always have all this air that needs to come out all the time. So lately I've honestly been feeling like I can't wait to start feeling like myself again. Like, um, like I'm ready for the pregnancy to get going. Like I'm trying to enjoy this time that I have and this pregnancy. But at the same time, I'm at this point now where I'm feeling like I can't wait to be back to myself, back to normal, not to have the, the feelings of the pregnancy anymore, like the pains and the aches and the discomforts. But I'm just trying to enjoy it because I'm very thankful that I'm pregnant with these two babies and that I'm getting to experience this because we don't know if we're going to have any more kids because this is going to be, we have two other children and so these two are going to be our fourth kids. So we're not sure if we're going to have any more kids. So I'm just trying to enjoy this and just push those feelings off to the side of just trying to rush it. But I'm very thankful at the same time though. So as far as cravings go, the only other thing that's new that I've been craving recently is like cereal. I haven't been buying the normal like Captain Crunch or um, Fruity Pebbles or anything like that. I've been trying to get a, like a healthier alternative, but I've been craving cereal and I've been normally having it like later on in um, after dinner. Like about a few hours after we've cleaned up dinner, I've been wanting to have cereal. So that's been my most recent craving. But other than that, that's basically all lately that I've been craving. 
besides the stuff from before. Like I still love soups. I still um, love the waffles with the peanut butter and syrup on it. But the cereal all the time is new because I'm not normally as, like into having cereal much. So I remember that with some of my previous pregnancies too, wanting to have cereal like later on at night. My stomach has definitely grown a lot. I've definitely been feeling the stretching and the itching. My stomach is literally itching all the time. And I've honestly been enjoying having baths every single night. Like I feel like I cannot go a night without having a bath because it just really helps me to relax. And if I don't have one, I just feel like I need one so bad just to get me to my body to relax because I just feel like it helps with all the aches and pains and all that so that's literally been like an everyday thing is once the kids are in bed and I've had my cereal or whatever and I me and Dan have um, watched a show or had some time together and um, then I get in the bath and just spend some time in there relaxing and it really does help me to feel better and I feel like I do sleep a lot better because of that too. So that's basically all. There hasn't really been anything else new to update you guys with. But in the next update, I will be letting you guys know how the growth ultrasound went. And if the echocardiography is before the next update, I'll let you guys know about that. But other than that, I just wanted to show you guys how big my stomach is now. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that now. So this is what my belly is looking like at 23 weeks pregnant. I'll show you guys the front and the other side. And then I'll show you guys um, bare skin. So that's going to be all for today's update. I just wanted to say thanks so much for watching. Again, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!